Everyone is telling scary stories for Halloween, so I'll talk about something that happened to me when I was a kid because, hey, trauma never gets old. Hashtag scary stories. When I turned nine, I realized I could sneak downstairs after everyone was asleep and eat anything I wanted in the fridge. No one ever noticed. I could make a peanut butter, cheese whiz, and mayo sandwich, eat leftover pizza, scrape off the icing from birthday cakes. As long as I was careful, I could do anything. Creeping down was the hardest part. I had to navigate the pitch dark house all the way downstairs in total darkness, like a tiny ninja. One night in May, 81, we ordered from Fish and Shrimp House. I waited until everyone was asleep and crept downstairs to eat the leftover sweet and sour pork. It took forever. I finally stepped into the totally dark den and let down my guard. All of a sudden I heard a fork click on the counter. I froze. The microwave clock light showed the outline of a man sitting at our kitchen counter. He couldn't see me. But I saw him, a skinny guy, eating our leftovers and drinking our milk from the carton. Can't explain how terrifying it is for someone to be in your house. I slowly backed away, crept upstairs, and woke up my mom and dad. They made way too much noise and took way too long. And by the time they got downstairs, the kitchen was empty. Everyone said I read too many horror comics, so they blew off what I said. But no way was I pouring milk on my cereal. I started tracking the position of everything in the kitchen. One day the paper napkin holder was on the wrong side of the counter, another day a mug was in the sink that was not there the night before. My bedroom door didn't lock, so I kept a steak knife under my pillow. I must have stabbed myself in the hand a thousand times, checking to make sure it was there. Then in August, I was in my room reading when I looked up. There's an AC vent over my bed. Behind the vent, a pair of eyes were watching me. I freaked and raised hell until my parents searched our attic and the crawl space under our house. Nothing. I wasn't very popular for a few weeks. The last week of August, our house started to smell. One night, rice fell out of the vent over my bed. Maggots. The AC people said something had probably crawled into our vents and died. Turns out, what had crawled into our vents and died was the guy. We lived in an old house with lots of space between the walls and big ducts. He'd been living in them since May. At least. He'd put a foam pad beside my bedroom vent so he'd be comfortable while he watched me. The police said he'd made lots of drawings, but when I asked, they pretended they hadn't said anything. No one ever identified him. He was buried as a John Doe. To this day, I can't look inside the vents and houses. But sometimes when I'm at someone's house, I'll smell a little B.O. coming from their central air conditioning. And I'll wonder who's living back there in their ducts. Who's living in the dark? What a short but still pretty eerie and spooky story by uh, Grady Hendrix. Now, I don't know if I fully believe it. I think it's believable. But, you know, either way, not really important. The fact is, it was good. I really enjoyed it. Um, I hope you did too. Uh, he's got a website. You could support all his actions there. Uh, I'll also put in his uh, his Twitter handle as well if you want to give him a little follow on there. He, he does write quite a few... Um, scary story based things as well so that's that's quite interesting that's that's another reason why i don't fully believe it but you know don't matter either way really good uh so our next stuff that we're going to be thinking about doing is definitely i'm definitely tempted to cover the sun vanished and uh, dear david both are quite long and the sun vanished i think is still ongoing so that's uh yeah that's it's gonna be a time sink but i'm tempted i am tempted to do it if that's what you want then i'll do it just let just let me know Otherwise, I do have another longer one coming. Uh, a little more in the vein of uh, Gregory88. Not quite as good, but still good. It is still good, and it's been similar in a sense. Uh, that one that one I'm thinking of dropping on Christmas Day. Just as a little, little bonus, a little treat for all you guys. For all your support and all your lovely words. Uh, also, a, uh, a Santa horror game, I think, will also be coming out on the 25th. So... So for those of you that made it to the end of the video, you know what's coming. You know what's coming. Well, that's that's it from me. See you for the next one.